Welcome back everybody. Today we're down here in the Miner's Guild. So we're going to learn how to mine a little bit. Get us another uh, get us another skill. Well met adventurer. You stand within the Miner's Guild. The place where seekers of the realms mineral wealth gather. With pickaxe and sledgehammer we miners work rock and earth that they might yield a source, fossils, precious stones, and more. If you have to mind, if you have a mind to join our ranks, you will be pleased to know that we are currently recruiting. Great riches await those with strong backs and keen eyes. Do you wish to join the Miners Guild? Yes, I do. A decision you will not regret. You have just taken your first steps toward striking it rich. To look at the lands around Oda, one would be forgiven for thinking the region barren of opportunity. But beneath the surface, the scene could not be more different. There lie veins of copper, silver, and gold beyond measure. For as long as he has dwelt in Thalion, man has availed himself of these vast deposits, giving rise not to a thriving mining trade, for which forms the foundation of our nation's prosperity. Of course, the mining trade, as it is today, owns much to an even event which took place some century and a half ago, namely the Mad Mithril Rush. Never before had the Sultanate seen such an influx of migrants. Endless throgs came from lands near and far, Spurred on by the dream of discovering the mother lobe. Alas, a harsh reality awaited them. You see, the vast majority of these poor souls were miners in name alone. And they possessed neither the proper equipment nor the training to realize their dreams. To make matters worse, the mining concerns, who in those days held absolute power, did not sculpt, did not scruple to exploit them. Presented with a glut of unskilled labor, they proceeded to fill every tunnel to bursting and atrocious working conditions. Soon became the norm. Miners were paid a pittance for back-breaking labor and saw not of the riches they unearthed. Pushed to the breaking point, the workers band together to form a miners' guild with the aim of improving conditions while protecting the integrity of the trade. Since then, we have sought to educate folk in the correct mining practices, both to prevent accidents and to curb the impact that our trade has upon the environment. I trust you now have a better understanding of what we do. All that is left to commit is your name to our role. When you are ready to do so, pray speak with me again. I shall guide you through the enrollment process. Alright, so as you see on the bottom right, I kind of took two hot bars, reorganized them, and so this is going to be my crafting, this is going to be my, uh, like, attacking, and the center one's going to be my gathering. So mining's going to go right down here. Let's talk to her again. So are you ready to join the Miner's Guild? Weathered Pickaxe. Her picture looks a little different than what she looks like in front of me. Alright, Lynette wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Miner's Guild. I accept. Music to my ears. I, the kind made when one pickaxe strikes gold. You must introduce yourself to Guildmaster Alberta right away. Her approval is required if you are to be formally admitted to our ranks. In case you're unaware, Alberta is perhaps the most accomplished of those miners who still swing a pickaxe. Her understanding of our trade is unsurpassed, and her flair for prospecting uncanny. Her brain, in short, is a vertebral <laughs> gold mine of knowledge, much of it concerning the mining of gold. Ha <laughs> ha, just think apart. You stand to learn a great deal from her. 
when you're ready to pray. Present to yourself to Alderta. You'll find her down the steps over yonder by the bar. All right, way of the minor has been accepted. Each of them got the same little room, just designed a little different. Oh, she looks like the pitcher. Well made adventure. Adabarit's my name, and I'm the master of this guild. I take it you wish to become a miner? Well, all doors are open to all who aren't afraid to work hard and get dirty. Thanks to the recent advances and refining techniques, it is now possible to smelt even low purity ores. I mention this because it's allowed us to reopen a number of mines which were long thought exhausted, prompting trade to flourish. Truth be told, with the business as it is at the moment, we can't take on enough new miners, and few folk make better miners than adventurers. You being a handy lot. What's more is, you're well traveled which serves to expand the guild's sphere of activity. Oh, but I'm not suggesting you join solely for our benefit. For your part, you'll acquire skills that will provide to your profit and mutually beneficial agreement. I trust you agree. So what do you say? You will join us, yes? Yes, I will. Ready to work hard and get dirty? Then I bid you welcome to the Miners Guild. May your tolls never go unrewarded. Now then, here's a pickaxe to get you started. It's not the us, but it should serve a novice well enough. Go on and take it up. See how it feels in your hands. Speak to me again when you're ready, and I'll sign you a little task to help you get the swing of things. There we go. There's my weathered pickaxe. I still haven't sold these bows, but we will. We will. Um, let's see. For a miner, I got some stuff to equip. Gear set list. Let's make a new one. Miner. Bam. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. My name's Tick. And we'll be back tomorrow with another quest.